What's up, guys? Big shout outs to the African Superstar family. This is Gina Ifoe, the one and only African Superstar. And I have a question, which is aren't all diamonds blood diamonds? Before I hop into this video, I want to give a special shout out to the customers of the African Superstar.com. I've recently released my new collection called African Superstar X Ghana, and I would love for you to go and support my small black owned business with hot design inspired with my recent move to Ghana by way of the UK, by way of America. I also want to give a special shout out to the members only members who are designated by the circle next to their name. They support our platform on a monthly basis and get access to a behind the scenes vlog. So if you're interested in those services or those products, please make sure you patronize today. There has been a recent backlash because Beyonce was seen in an advert wearing a $30 million Tiffany diamond necklace. Apparently this is one of like, you know, a precious piece from their vault that only certain celebrities have ever worn. The necklace was originally mined in South Africa in 1877 by workers that were underpaid and workers that were underpaid that have worked in these diamond mines, might I add, not just in the, you know, the far history, but still currently going on. Um, were categorized as blood diamonds because of the blood, the sacrifice, sometimes the dangerous conditions that they had to work to, you know, go underground and try to locate these diamonds. The question that I had, obviously, <laughs> was aren't all diamonds blood diamonds? I mean, as far as I was aware, um, and that was actually confirmed when I did some research before making this video, there's one active diamond mine in the U.S. It's in Arkansas. Okay, you can look it up for yourself, uh, which means that all the other diamonds in the rest of the world are coming from other places. There is no other place in the world has more diamond mines than the continent of Africa. Um, we need to get past the semantics, obviously, because Beyonce is black. Let's be real. Okay, and I will say this as a bipartisan. I'm not a huge Beyonce fan, but I got to come to her defense in this because when white women are wearing these diamonds, nobody made a big deal. But when Beyonce wears it, it's a big problem. The fact is all diamonds, okay, are blood diamonds. They're all coming from the continent. Okay, and a lot of you that are raising this con concerns and stuff, where does, where does that local jewelry store in your community get their diamonds? Do you do their research? Huh? Are you calling a boycott of Tiffany for owning the necklace? Huh? They keep it in the vault. But you mad that Beyonce wore the necklace that is held by Tiffany that was mined by De Beers, which is in South Africa. Let, let, see, I think the biggest problem in 2021, in my opinion, one of the hugest problems, and that's why a lot of people are getting taken advantage of by the media and just other people that come out, these scammers and gurus, is because there's a lack of critical thinking, okay? It's not Beyonce's fault that she wore this necklace, okay? She probably was flattered when they, come, you know, when they uh, presented it to her anyway, knowing that it's a very rare item and only a few people have ever had access to it. Was it her job to research the origins? Some of y'all might say yes. Beyonce is a superstar. Big, you know, her team maybe should research. But honestly, okay, when you went to your jewelry shop, huh? Ladies that got engaged and married, did you ask them, hey, where does this diamond originate from? Did you ask your fiance when he popped the question, hey, where did you get this diamond? Because the truth of the matter is the diamonds that y'all wearing are coming from the continent. Okay, there's only one active mine in, in America. All right. So where else are they coming from? Let's be real. Have you ever gone to Africa? Have you ever seen what the diamond mines are like? Huh? What are the conditions like? Do you even know? But y'all just like hashtags and stupidity. And that's why you're here. You know, um, I just had to raise this because I get really tired of the semantics of our people, you know, not just black people, but people of 2021. A lot of people just dumb, stupid. You know what I mean? Beyonce's doing what rich people do, okay? She's coming under fire for having artwork in her videos. She's coming under fire for wearing, you know, $30 million diamond necklaces. Y'all, I mean, she's doing what rich people do. You know what I mean? If you got rich, you would be doing the same things. And so really this kind of just boils down to haters, you know? 
I mean, she's beautiful. She's rich. You know what I mean? She's doing stuff y'all average people can't do. But then again, if you mad that she rich, why you go to her concert? Why you buy her music? You, you put her there. You know, y'all elevate people to get mad when they enjoy their status, enjoy their position in life. I mean, honestly, you know, so I'm just going to state phonetically for the record, all diamonds are blood diamonds. Don't argue with me unless you go to the mines. Me personally, as an African traveler, okay, who's been to six African nations currently, I haven't even been to no diamond mines. I don't even know where they are. None of us have physically you know, I would say very few people have physically gone to the mines and seen the conditions that the people are doing. Even if these diamond companies, De Beers, which is one of the, you know, the largest diamond firm in the world, they're going to have a PR team that tells you, yeah, we're fairly employing our workers. You know, we have safe conditions. We obey labor laws. They're going to tell you all that stuff. Have you verified for yourself? Why are y'all getting on this lady's back? Cause she wore a necklace for, you know, a couple hours to make a damn advert. Huh? What about the diamonds in the queen's crown? What, is, what are y'all talking? Di- are y'all talking blood diamonds? Are y'all talking? I mean, for real. And I also want to state for the record, no diamonds were hurt in the making of this video. All these rhinestone and cubic. Yeah. Rhinestone and cubic. I just like to sparkle. <laughs> I just like to shine. Okay. I like, I'll save the money and, 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 and buy additional stuff than be spending thousands and thousands and millions and stuff on diamonds. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Technology has come a long way. I'd say if you worried about blood diamonds, stick to that cubic lane. You know what I'm saying? Get you some cubics, you know what I mean? Get you some, get you some Swarcy crystals or some rhinestones, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Embellish, you know, stone, whatever lab generated. But y'all need to stop coming for B, for real. Y'all need to stop coming for B. All diamonds are blood diamonds. And that's my, that's my final word. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.